Hey folks, what I have here is the Behringer X Touch One. Um, before purchasing this, I read a lot of the reviews, the background feature sets that it all had. Um, currently, I have version 1.07 firmware on this, which is the latest and greatest. Um, anyways, I'm trying to use it with Vegas Pro. Um, I also use it with Acid Pro as well. Um, but my main uh, reason for this was to use it with as a control surface for Vegas. And one of the reasons I really liked this, uh, actually the, the few reasons that I liked it was because it does have Mac, universal Mackie control um, command uh, feature set on it. And also Vegas also supports universal Mackie control. So you would think a spec being universal that they would function together, but not quite. I mean, most of it works. I can hit play, pause, rewind. Um, where I'm finding the difficulty though is selecting audio channels to adjust it with the volume fader. Um, so you can see right now I have Audio track one is selected, and if I move that fader, you can see that move and playback. You would, you would hear the volume. So that is working. But now, let's say I wanted to go to track two and adjust that level. So I've got a total of 16 tracks just for demo purposes laid out here, and I also have a video track for this. Um, so I want to go to the audio track two, and the way you would do that is you would use these channel up and down buttons. So I'm at one, and you would press channel up, which would normally go to channel two, but it doesn't. But to get there, now I have to press this select button, and now I jump to audio track two, and I'm able to adjust that volume level. Now I'll go into channel three is the same, doesn't go there, hit select, channel 4, select, channel 5, select, channel 6, select, channel 7, so on and so forth. Now I'm at 8. Um, now if I wanted to go back the other way, here's what's interesting is as soon as I hit channel up, it jumps to channel 7 and I'm able to control 7. You would think they would be consistent, but it's not. Going up again, I'm at six, five, four, three, two, one, and again, I'm adjusting audio channel one. Um, okay, then you go, you say, okay, I'm, I'm going back the other way. So again, it's press it up, and then you have to select. And now it jumps to audio channel three. I was at one, it went to three. Press it again, select, now I'm at audio channel 5. Now it's going by 2's. Now I'm at 7. Now if I hit it again, I should jump to audio track 9 since I'm at 7, but the Mac you control the spec, the way it's laid out, you're able to control 8 faders, or one bank controls 8 faders. If you go beyond 8, then you need to increase your bank. So if I go channel up and hit select, now it's telling me, hey, I need to select a bank, which is good. I go bank up, select it again. Now I'm at audio channel nine. So that's, you know, a, not an ideal thing, but it's doable, it's workaround. Um, and then again, it's the same behavior, 10, select 11 select to get there and then going back the other way again 10 9 I'm there controlling 9 now again if I go back up one more and then I actually need to go to the next bank to go to 8 and I'm at 8 um, I'll go back up to one. See, I'm easy able to get there. <laughs> it 
So I'm now controlling fader mode. Um, one of the reasons I got this user interface was, like I said, is because it has a Mackie control user defined and that allows me to go in here and reassign these buttons and that's important to me because with Vegas you saw I was able to go through all these audio track and control these levels but Vegas this bottom video track I I'm able to control that if I have a button that's defined to the Mackie global command and I programmed in here under the Mackie control user as global is that particular button. So when I hit that button, now what you see is I switched over to controlling the tracks with video on it now. So if you look, you can see the level fader for the video is now um, going up and down. You see my preview over there. It's getting larger, uh, lighter and darker as I control this fader. Perfect. That's exactly what I want to be able to control all the faders in Vegas. And then if I go back out of it, I'm now, let me scroll up for you, I'm now back at controlling audio fader one. So that allows me to switch between audio faders and video fader control. All right, great. So let me close this out. Um, it's not working very well, so I said, okay, let me try another application. So I tried uh, Magic Vegas Pro. This is, or, sorry, Magic Acid Pro. This is the latest Acid Pro Next. Um, and essentially, it has the same behavior as uh, Vegas. I'm on audio channel one. I have to go select channel 3, select, channel 4, select, and then if I go the other way, channel 3, channel 2, no select button, channel 1, again, I don't have to do, hit the select button going in that direction. Um, so, I, so I started thinking to myself, well, you know, Acid and Vegas, they're kind of done by the same developers, so maybe they're that's the reason why it's acting that way. So I fired up Reaper. Um, same, similar project, 16 tracks of audio. Um, now when I go into Reaper, I select audio tr channel one. Now to get to audio and I'm controlling that fader. Go to channel two, channel up button. Again, I have to hit select for it to actually Channel 3, select, jumped up, channel 3, now I'm actually controlling it, going in the other direction, 2, 1, and now here's what's interesting is that you see these faders are highlighted, um, that means they're kind of grouped, they're, all three of them are selected, so it's actually controlling multiple faders when I do this. So I got three faders moving. Um, that's one way I guess Reaper is different than Vegas, but overall the behavior is similar. The thing about this is it also has a Reaper configuration. So since I'm in Reaper, let me show you how to get to that. You press the stop button, press the rotary knob in, and you can go through and now I am on MC Reaper. I select it. Exit out of here. I need to minimize Reaper for a second so it closes that mini port and refresh it. So now I'm back. Now, here's how the behavior should be. So I'm on audio channel one again. Now I go to audio channel 2, see how 2 doesn't get highlighted this time, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, see how I didn't have to adjust banks now doing this, see it's automatically going to the different faders. Now I am on audio channel 16 adjusting that and 
then I can go back the other way. And then what the select button actually does is if right now I'm on audio channel one and that's selected. If I go to audio channel two and hit the select, now that gets highlighted. Channel two, channel three, select, channel four, select. Now I have four channels that are selected and highlighted. Now if I adjust it, all four of those faders adjust together. That's the way it's supposed to work. Okay, so now let's go back to Vegas. So now I have the Reaper preset in here and we're going to see how it works with Vegas. So again, there's a play, it's working. I'm on audio track channel 4 currently. I'm going to go channel down. And look, it went to audio channel 5. No select 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. No selection is needed. I'm able to control those. I'll go back up to audio channel 1. And I'm able to also select tracks now like I was in Reaper. See how they're getting highlighted now. Track 1, 2, and 3 are highlighted. Select track 4. Select track 5, 6, 7. That's the way it's supposed to work. But my problem is now is I no longer have that global key. I can't redefine buttons in the Reaper config. Only under the Mackie user configure can I reconfigure buttons. So now I have no way of controlling this video track that I have in Vegas. So that becomes a problem. So essentially I have six of one, half a dozen solution with this user interface and it's not ideal at this point. If you have any suggestions, let me know. But essentially what I think I need is I need a Reaper, um, Reaper defined preset, which I'm able to configure with the universal Mackie control so I can assign the buttons, but I can't.